So in this video, what we're going to go over is Navisworks and how to be build a proper Navisworks model, especially for like a master model. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but this is the practice that we've come up with and, and we really like. So you can do this in Navisworks Simulate or Navisworks Manage. Uh, we're doing it in Manage. Uh, so that way we can do some other stuff later on I want to show you. So uh, so let's get into it. So the way that we usually do it is we append our models into uh, the Navisworks uh, file. Um, the other way is to have a master model and you bring that in and uh, see everything. But to me that's not as intuitive. So... Uh, it gives you a little bit more control if you do it this way. So this is our way and this way we're going to show you. Uh, so if you go over to append and click on append, it will bring you up to uh, the file location. And by default, when you first start you know, appending, it's going to give you uh, like an NWD. So it's looking for an NWD. But since we're dealing with AutoCAD drawings, we want to... Uh, look for the AutoCAD drawing. So these are all the different formats that you can choose from. Uh, everything from MicroStation to AutoCAD to recap files for the scan, uh, even um, you know, you know, solids for like STLs and other uh, programs. So Navisworks is a pretty robust system. So we're going to choose uh, DWG, so that's DWG and DXF, so we're going to click on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick on our Area 1 piping model right here, and we're going to hit OK. Now, I did this on purpose. You see this, it says, cannot resolve external reference. Uh, do you want to ignore, ignore all, cancel? Now there's a couple switches inside of Navisworks that you can turn on and off uh, that controls X references so in this case right now we have the X references turned on uh, we typically don't want to bring in the X references into Navisworks because we're going to be doing that manually anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel okay so nothing was loaded because we hit cancel so if you come up to the big N um, and go to options, and let's make this just a tad bit bigger, and under file readers, DWG DXF, uh, there's a couple things to turn off. So right here, convert X references. So by turning that off, the X references that are inside your model will not come in to the Navisworks file. And since we're doing that, I'm turn I turn off um, the uh, X reference layers also. So if you come back, also come down and hit convert point clouds. So if you have any laser scans referenced inside your model, uh, those would come along with it also because they're handled a little bit differently. So I don't want to see those unless I want to load them up manually. So we're going to turn that one off also. Again, that is under Options, File Readers, DWG, DXF, uh, and under the uh, Controls menu right here. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go to Append. And we're going to go to Area Pipe 1, or Area 1 Piping. And so there is our piping for Area 1. Now we have to do this for all the models that we want to bring in. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to pin, go back one, we're going to do civil, we're going to bring in both these. You can bring in more at, at a time. So there's our civil, we're going to pin, and we're going to go to equipment. And we're going to bring in all these. There's all our equipment. Go to structural area. So 
So, that's how you bring in and build your master model for your uh, project. So once you got it, you hit save. Uh, and this one here, we do not have a Navisworks folder. So let's go ahead and create that Navis. I like caps. Navis. And we're going to give it a name. So this is going to be um, cat CAD crazy master model. And we're going to save it as an NWF. Okay, so now we have under Navis, we got an NWF file. So what an NWF file is, it's like a, it's a live model. So every time you open it up or you hit refresh, something's going to save um, or it's going to refresh it. So if you have saves uh, in one model, it's going to upload those. So it's, it's a live model. Now, what you can do is create an NWD, which uh, NWD is like a snapshot in time. Um, and you create that typically from the Navisworks NWF file. So th to do that, go down to publish. Okay. Uh, and you can fill this information out or not is whatever you want to do uh, you can save it where it can be resaved um, or not I typically do um, unless we're giving it to someone else so we're going to hit OK and then see right here it says NWD so we're going to give it the same name as this one and we're going to hit save okay and if we go back to our folder you can see now we have two files we have an NWF which is a live updatable model and an NWD which is like a snapshot in time uh, the NWD you can uh, send this off to um, you know a client or someone that only has Navisworks Freedom and freedom is free from Autodesk and so that way you can uh, pass this off and let someone that does not have simulate or manage look at it uh, now it is um, dependent on the the version so right now we're in 17 right here uh, Navisworks 17 and so you can look at it at any version 17 and higher but you can't look at it at Navisworks 15 so you would have to do a save from there uh, open up the NWD do a save as save it down to an older version so again I hope this helps you out on creating your master models um, um, with Navisworks simulate or manage um, if you you like this video it seems to work well for you you learned information please like share and subscribe uh, that helps us keep producing more videos and uh, if there's something you want us to see or, or if there's something you want to see or something you want us to talk about please hit hit me up and um, you know we'll try to cover it